What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City video. Today we're going to be doing a Manchester City transfer update. It has been quite a difficult weekend if you are a Manchester City fan with our defeat against Tottenham Hotspur. We've now got a week until our next game and so perfect time for us to move on and ha have some nice light-hearted entertainment with a nice transfer update for you guys to enjoy. So, we are going to be doing daily Manchester City transfer updates in the summer transfer window. So, if you want to stay up to date with all the latest Manchester City transfer news first and fast, then do make sure you have subscribed to my channel, press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. The aim is 25k subscribers, so any help towards that would be much appreciated. Also, don't forget as well, social media links, they're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. My email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries. Leave a thumbs up if you do enjoy this video. 300 likes once more is the like goal. And also don't forget as well to leave your thoughts in the comments below what you make of these transfers. Without further ado though, let's crack on with this video. I've got quite a few stories to get through, so we're just going to dive right in. So contract news, first and foremost, we've got an update on Riyad Mahrez. Now the Mirror, they're reporting PSG, they're keeping an eye on Riyad Mahrez's contract situation at Manchester City. He currently uh, has his contract which expires in 2023, which isn't that long away. And so Manchester City, I'm hearing no rumours about us uh, having uh, contract talks with Riyad Mahrez as of yet. I'd be surprised if we don't. I'll be honest that I can see Manchester City trying to sort this in the summer rather than right now once it dips into, what, 12 months left on his contract. Riyad Mahrez obviously now into his 30s. City will have a good look at Mahrez in assess the situation with regards to him, but considering he's still a fantastic football player performing at a very high level and the fact that PSG are interested in him shows the standard of where Riyad Mahrez is right now. So I think the sooner we get him on a new contract, the better. Now moving on, we've got an update on Bernardo Silva's contract as well, which is brilliant news. Fabrizio Romano, he says that uh, Manchester City, they are now in early talks with Bernardo Silva over discussions for a new contract. This is of course back in the summer when Bernardo Silva wanted to leave Manchester City potentially and didn't want to sign a new contract. So the fact that uh, it's now been spoken about him signing a new contract is good news and hopefully, fingers crossed, that does get done. Now, we've got a very interesting update on Fernandinho. Now, Paul Hurst, he's confirmed that Manchester City, they will leave Fernandinho's decision on his future up to him. City, though, for the first time I'm hearing, are open to Fernandinho extending his contract at Manchester City for a further season. Uh, Manchester City are assessing all options here with Fernandinho, and word is, is that Fernandinho wants to hang up his boots, he wants to retire from football. Manchester City have no problem in offering him a contract for him to become a first-team coach of, as part of the backroom staff with Pep Guardiola, which is a fantastic opportunity there. But Manchester City, uh, they value Fernandinho. They do not want to lose him. Uh, City say that he's a leader on and off the pitch. Uh, he handles his role as captain so, so well. And he has good relations with the backroom staff, with the manager, with the high chiefs at Manchester City and all of the players as well. Fernandinho is an asset to Manchester City and they will do anything that they can to keep Fernandinho here. And if that means he stays on as a player for an extra year, it seems like City are happy to do that. If Fernandinho wants to hang up his boots and become a coach, City are happy to give him that opportunity to become a coach at Manchester City. I probably wouldn't rule out next season Fernandinho potentially signing a player-coach contract. One season, he's a player and a coach. More than likely, he'll get all his coaching badges under his belt. He'll learn uh, and he'll be phased out as a player, basically. That's what I can see happening, but we'll have to see what does happen with regards to that. Uh, but like I said, Manchester City, they're waiting to see uh, what Fernandinho, basically, wants to do. We've not got any out news for today, so we're just going to dive right into the ins. We've got a new name. It comes in the form of Savinho of Atletico Mineiro in Brazil. 
Uh, but Manchester City apparently have submitted a 6.5 million euros bid plus add-ons and a sell-on clause to try and sign the teenager. Manchester City are thought to want to try and sign him and then potentially loan him to the Netherlands. They've got PSV in mind as a club that they'd like to loan him to. So I presume City is speaking not only with Atletico Mineiro but also with PSV as well. But Savinho, he's Brazilian, 17 years old. He's a forward. I've never seen him play. I don't know too much about him. So if anyone does let, uh, know anything about him, do let me know in the comments below. But do cue people putting his name into YouTube and having a watch of his clips. I know that I'll be one of them having a good look to see potentially what he is about. Now, moving on, we've got an update on uh, Ezekiel Zebolos and Valentin Barco, the duo from Argentina. Now, Sebastian Infanzon. Uh, I've butchered that, I'm probably, I apologise. Anyway, uh, that's a source in Argentina. They say that the CFG, the City Football Group, they will open negotiations with Boca Juniors to try and sign Zabelos and Barco from Boca Juniors to join the CFG. Manchester City, if they do sign uh, both of these players, do plan to keep both of these players at Boca until December of this year, which potentially is what could happen with Julian Alvarez as well. So we could well be seeing three... Argentinian young players come into Manchester City. City are definitely scouting and having a look at the upcoming top South American um, players. Well, that is 100% happening. City must have scouts out there, left, right and centre. So if you're an upcoming prospect from South America, there's a good chance Manchester City are having a look at you. Now, Moving on, new name, Matthias Nunes of Sporting CP, Sports Witness. They say that Pep Guardiola, he was so impressed with his performance against Manchester City. He's regarded him as one of the best midfielders in the world. And Pep Guardiola apparently had a word with the player in private after the game to big up his praises as well, which is where this rumour has come from with Manchester City apparently now being interested. The player has a release clause, 60 million euros. It's thought, though, that Sporting would be willing to accept less than his release clause with the article even suggesting that City could pick him up if they wanted to for half of his value of his release clause so 30 million euros he's a central midfielder can also cover in defensive uh, midfield as well I'll be honest not too sure about this one. Uh, I know a couple of other clubs in England are also being linked. Would like to know your thoughts of that in the comments below. Now, moving on, we've got an update on a player that we've not really spoken about much uh, over the last 12 months. Comes in the form of an update on La Torre Martinez. Now, the, uh, the mirror, they're saying that Manchester City, they've got a keen interest in Martinez from Inter Milan. And apparently, he is one of the contingencies that City are looking at as a backup to Erling Haaland in the summer so this is definitely someone to keep an eye on to sure uh, if he's what City need up top but remains to be seen and like I said Latorre Martinez uh, the rumours of him uh, being linked with Manchester City they never really have gone away uh, but City pretty limited when it comes to uh, striking options for the summer as players are either keen to stay on the clubs that they're at or they've already left and gone to another club and so our shortlist of strikers is pretty short if I'm completely honest so We'll see what direction City choose to go with, but at the moment, City firmly having a look at Erling Haaland. Now, moving on to the final story, a story that we were speaking about a few weeks ago, got a further update on Christopher Nkunku from RB Leipzig. Now, Bild, they're continuing with their story that Manchester City do indeed want to sign Nkunku from Leipzig this summer. They've put a value on his head, 55 million euros so roughly around 50 million pounds Bild have also said that Manchester City are interested in signing uh, Josco Gavardiol I hope I've said his name right uh, he's a centre-back who plays on the left side we have already got Laporte and Ake that play there so not not too sure that makes sense but maybe that's just Man City being interested in that's interest and nothing more I'm not too sure but apparently uh, Josco uh, he has a value of 25 million euros he's a 20 year old Croatian left-sided centre-back like I said and would be a good replacement should a Merit Laporte or Nathan Ake leave Manchester City uh, Nathan Ake is a homegrown player 
player. So I can imagine if City do end up selling a homegrown player, then uh, it would probably replace them with a, a homegrown player. But we do have room for manoeuvre in our squad, so we'll see. Uh, and Kunku, though, he's the interesting one because he can play as the false nine. He's pretty versatile, can play on the left, can play on the right. He's quick, he's got a good finish on him, and he's having... A really great season with Leipzig as well. He's 24 years old, um, 50 million pounds. That represents good value. It's all about what the Manchester City see for their attacker that they want to sign in the summer. Ideally speaking, you want that number nine. You want that player that's going to put the ball into the back of the net. You want that striker. If that doesn't happen, then Nkunku does become an option. I will also add that should any attackers leave Manchester City in the summer, such as Raheem Sterling not signing a new contract and having one year left on his contract, or Riyad Mahrez not signing a new contract and having a year left on his contract and City decide to catch their chips, so to speak, then I think Nkunku definitely becomes an option for Manchester City, for how versatile, how good uh, he can be, how quick he can be, and I think it would be a really good signing for the Premier League, but I've got a feeling that uh, £50 million, pounds, there'll be quite a bit of interest from around Europe in him and the Premier League as well, and like always, if City want to sign players, you're going to have to be quick, so I'd be very surprised if City aren't already speaking with clubs and trying to get things sorted, transfers take time, they don't take days or weeks, they take months. And we are now on the build-up to the summer transfer window. So it wouldn't surprise me with these rumours that City are having a good look and putting some inquiries out there. And Unkunku could well be one of them options. So there we go. That's been the video. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a thumbs up so I know you enjoyed this video. 300 likes, that's the aim. Any help towards that would be much appreciated. Leave your thoughts in the comments below of what you made of these transfers. Don't forget as well to subscribe to my channel. Press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. Not only is 25,000 subscribers my aim here now on my channel, I am also going to be doing daily Manchester City transfer updates throughout the summer transfer window to keep you guys up to date every single day with the latest Manchester City transfer news. So if you haven't already, do make sure you have subscribed. Lastly, social media links, they're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram, my email. Also in the description below, if you want to go and hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries, I'm actively looking for a sponsor now for them daily Manchester City transfer transfer updates in the summer so if that's something that does interest you just let me know through my email and hopefully we can get something sorted with regards to that i'm expecting it to be a lot of demand and a lot of interest or good opportunity out there for anyone that is interested and i'll see you all again very soon so i've been jsgc thank you everyone for watching i hope everyone is safe and well peace ciao for now